Hello there! Welcome to another weekend vlog! This is what I... Four? Four. I mean, we've been doing this for like nearly a month. A month-ish. Oh my god, yeah. That's crazy. Happy month anniversary. It's been quite an eventful week. Uh, you've had a very, very busy week, haven't you? So, Monday I played a cricket game. Yeah. I was actually really proud of myself for that one. We, I played very well which normally doesn't happen. Um, Tuesday, oh, I didn't do anything Tuesday. No, Tuesday was Tuesday a normal was a, night. Yeah, we did a bit of housework. Um, Wednesday, I did my first lesson of acting, which I have been waiting over a year for, because of COVID, it just kept being pushed back. So yeah, it's like a full on um, like acting, like 10 week acting course that you're doing at the um, Bournemouth Born University. Born University. Born so it's Arts like it's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, yeah, it was great. It was so good. It's like three hours a time, so it's quite full on, but um, I really enjoyed it. It was great. And then last night, I played cricket. So that was my week. You've had a very busy week. I have had a less busy week. Less you, week. You've kind of like been there for me, which is which is good. It's been a good week, but a busy week. Yeah. So um, we have a cider. A bit more fun. And yeah. What's going on with these bits here? I don't know. Also something very exciting that happened this week. You got a new sofa! Woo! We're obsessed. This is like a Chesterfield style sofa. Um, it's like reclaimed. So it's like um, kind of, I guess, secondhand. If someone took it to this company who reclaim furniture. They then like zhuzhed it up and then sell it on for a decent price. So now you're modeling it so well. I know, this is the first time that he's actually been on the leather. Like he's been really yeah. funny about, cause our last sofa was fabric. Um, so we've had to put like, Blankets and stuff down because you kept getting funny about the leather, but yeah, because it makes noise, doesn't it? Like, yeah. When you sit on the cushions, it makes a squeaky noise, and he's like, "Wait, what?" Do you like it? He's been like laying in the crack and loving the cracks for some reason. Yeah, which means he takes up half the sofa. Yeah, mate. Hey, what do you reckon? Do you love it? He also likes it as well because it's like got the roll back. There's like a bit of a gap where the roll back is like further out than the back of the sofa. So now we've got like a gap behind the back of the sofa. So he keeps like doing loops around it like an absolute loon it's got back rolls like this. <laughs> yeah. but because um our last sofa was like an l shape so ignore all the cat toys we've been playing um but yeah so it whereas like our last sofa came out quite a lot um it's like made our room feel a lot bigger and we've been able to move our table up so we've got in the room now so much room for activities and basically it's maui's running around play area Hi guys, so I'm in the car at the moment. I've just found a parking space outside of town. So I'm gonna walk into um, our town centre in Bournemouth. I want to go to uh, Lush and grab a couple of bits. I don't know if anyone's done this or heard about this, but at the moment Lush are doing a really good um, like recycling scheme. Um, so basically all their like black pots that they have their products in, for every black pot that you wash out and bring back, they will give you 50p off a purchase sort of per pot um so i've got four pots to bring back so i will get two pound off basically i only need to get a couple of bits so it will be a nice little saving i used to always save up the black pots and use the other scheme that they have uh, which they are still running where you trade in your five pots and you can get a um face mask so for instance i've got um one of the bits out here which is uh my tea tree um, toner water which both me and Steph use all the time so this is empty so I'm gonna go get a new one also I'm totally using my new Toy Story 4 bag nice little shopper bag Right, so I'm home and I'm just going to give you a tiny little haul of my goodies. I didn't get very much, so I'll show you what I got. So as I showed you in the car, I got a replacement of my tea tree toner. I picked up 
uh, the Outback Mate soap. Um, so I haven't tried this one yet, but I've heard really good reviews. Um, we, we switched to soap bars probably about a year ago. Um, just trying to be like more environmentally conscious. Um, but soap bars just last forever. So yeah, we're going to give this one a go. Um, and then I got given this sample, which is so cool. So, uh, this is Lipair Faith Sugar Facial Cleanser. Um, so I used the facial cleansers and I took back a couple of pots of facial cleanser. So the staff member said that they've got two new, um, facial cleansers and asked if I wanted the sample of one, asked me sort of what my skin is like. So yeah, I've got this. So I'm going to give this a go, uh, which is always exciting to get samples. Um, I then picked up some bits from Holland and Barrett. Um, so I had a, uh, I've got a store card and I had a uh three pound fifty like coupon vouchery thing come through that i had to use in the next couple of months so i picked up a replacement pot of these iron and vitamin c tablets uh which is fun um and then very exciting some gingins uh which is so random and we've never had these before but basically uh ginger is supposed to be amazing for motion sickness and travel sickness um and i've heard a lot of people raving about having these on cruise ships especially for your first time um and these are normally like four pound fifty so i essentially got these for a pound um which is great so these like are in date till next year so we'll save them for our cruise when we go on the magic of sea um but steph uh especially gets quite travel sickness travel sick gets quite travel sick emotion sickness so i do oh hi hi um i do i'm a sicky person <laughs> <laughs> yeah so hopefully in the car on ships i'm just yeah the gingins will help hopefully but yeah, apparently ginger is supposed to be amazing. So we'll give it a go and yeah. let you know what we think in October. <laughs> so I think um, we're going to jump back in the car and head up to, uh, I think we're going to go to Sainsbury's. We're going to Sainsbury's or Tesco? Mm. I think we're going to go to Sainsbury's, isn't it? Yeah, Sainsbury's, I think. To get some bits. It looks like I always drive, but I'm not the only driver. Nick <laughs> does drive as well. Yeah. So we went to the Sainsbury's. It was very unsuccessful. So we're off to big Tesco near us, like the Gigantor store. Gigantor? Yeah. Um, so it's always like an exciting day out when you go to big Tesco. Um, so. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit further up, but not very. Yeah. It's not our local one, it's like the next one along. Yeah, but we don't, yeah, because we don't go there very often. Um, it's always like a treat because it just has everything it's massive um and also quite dangerous Lots of shopping <laughs> to not be done yeah also how cute does stuff look in her spirit jersey <laughs> we always get drawn to the kids kids aisle i love that's such a cool one. Oh my god oh my goodness <laughs> Oh look, they've got Raya! It's a Marvel wrestler. It is Captain Marvel, but she's a sewer wrestler. Whoa. I also love this really classic Ooh. Dumbledore. Holding a baby Harry, which is kind of creepy. Hey, look. And it's a bit squished, but they've also got Squirtle. Look at him! Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. I want Marvel. They've got new Mari as well. And they have a lot, uh, they have jasmine. Oh my god. <gasps> is this what I think it is? No. What did you I say? thought from this it was um toothless. Toothless? <laughs> yeah. But I didn't see the DC. Been... I didn't see the DC, but it's Batman. And we've got the Patronuses, they're really cool. Yeah, they are cool. Ah, oh, look, there's so many different ones. Let's go. I didn't even see this. It was literally next to us. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cool. Cider and Friday fajitas. Oh yeah. Yum. Hello. Dinner was yummy. Mm, dinner was good. The plan for the evening. We are gonna watch Love Victor. I'm yes. Excited. Season two starts today. Um let us know if you have watched um the first season of Love Victor because we watched it religiously every week. Um, we got so hooked, didn't we? Mm. We really liked it. It's, yeah. it's very us. If, if you have seen Love, Simon, I think you definitely should watch Love, Victor. Yeah. It's worth a watch. Um, and we left it on such a cliffhanger. Oh my God, yeah. Obviously, so. I won't tell you what the cliffhanger is, but it's such a cliffhanger. It's 
it's yeah yeah so if I'm you are nervous to see what's gonna happen i know so yeah so if you haven't seen love victor season one definitely recommend it especially because it's pride month yes you should do it and then we're gonna watch luca yes because it's on disney plus i didn't realize it was coming straight to disney plus yeah That's yes awesome. yes it's free you don't have to pay the like premier access for it i think it'll be good i'm excited yeah it looks very like it, it sounds it might sound a bit lame but i really like colorful films like i really love finding nemo and finding dory because of all this all the color and yeah. things that go with it I, I have a feeling that this is gonna be like that should we get watching yes <laughs> i'm so excited i am excited Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, we've not vlogged this morning. Um, Look at us with so, it going, with our wet hair. Yeah, we've just showered, hence the no makeup and stuff. So it's Saturday, last night um, we left you at Hima. Hey, bud, how's it going? You like to say hello? 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 No. Yeah, yeah, being unsensual. Okay, bye. Um, so yeah, last night we watched Love Victor, the first mm. episode of the second season. <gasps> oh, it's good. All the it's, emotions. <laughs> it's really good. Really, really good. It's intense. Um, yeah, I got quite emotional. You did, actually. yeah. There were a couple of welly up moments. Let's go with that. <laughs> welly up moments. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we watched Luca. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed Luca. I Yeah, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I like the animation. And the storyline's really good. Like, yeah. I mean, Pixar can't really do anything wrong anyway, but it it just has such a good storyline. Obviously, it hits you in the feels a bit, so be prepared for that. There was, like, one moment, I think, where you got quite choky. I didn't think it was, like, horrifically sad. There were some sad moments, but it then only, they were quite quickly, like... I don't know if it, I didn't really get emotional because it was sad. I got emotional at something that was just really heartwarming. Yeah. And it just choked me because I was just like, oh, my goodness, that's... That's so cute. That's why I got emotional, because I'm a soppy, soppy it, yeah. person. It was quite nice that it wasn't really, like, yeah, pulling on the heartstrings, really emotional. Sometimes in these films yeah. can be a bit like, Ugh. Um Like Coco, I absolutely love Coco, but it, oh my God, it's so emotion. sad that it's it's an amazing film, okay. probably up there with, like, one of the faves. Yeah. But we don't watch it that much because it kind of... Yeah. A bit of a, oh. Like, oh, I, I want to watch something happy. Okay, not Coco then. It's yeah. Like, oh. But Coco is happy as, as well. Yeah, it's, definitely. You know, it's just but, sad. Um, but Luca's kind of a nice mix where it, like, it's it's that colourful, it's really good storyline. Yeah. It's also they, funny. And the I, characters are great. I think kids would find it hilarious. Yeah. Um, I, I really, really liked it a lot. I definitely, yeah. would, definitely would watch it again. I know some people have had sort of mixed opinion about the late last few Pixar films, but, like, I know we both really enjoyed... We really enjoyed Onward, we really enjoyed we Soul, did. and again, now Luca, like, for us, it's like, mm. was it three, a hat trick? Yes. Hat trick? That is a hat trick. Yeah. There are kind of films, because they've all got very powerful messages, mm. and it's not, it's not about romance. It's highly recommend, if you've not seen it already. If you have, let us know your thoughts, yeah. because some people don't agree with us, which is fair enough, so we're curious. Yeah, drop a little comment below, and let us know your thoughts on Luca. Yes. Now, we're going to have some lunch, so we'll check back in later. This is what? I'm dealing with right now. His little pink nose, I can't turn it on. <laughs> Hello, um, hi. Look at his little paws. I mean, have you seen anything so cute? Look at his little feet. Look at his fluffy belly. <sighs> this is our life. How are we meant to move? Oh god, we're about to die. Death is upon us. We survived. We're not dying. <laughs> um, so we're back in Southampton again. It's uh, it's Father's Day tomorrow, so we're seeing um, Steph's stepdad today uh, and your yep. mum, yep, yep. which would be nice. But we've been having intense uh, conversations on the way here, planning our Disney World restaurants, uh, going through menus extensively. <laughs> Very serious stuff when you're vegetarian, guys. We both personally feel that some of the American food is like very strange especially breakfast meals I'm like you're having wait you're having this for breakfast like a steak like a full-on steak for breakfast like yeah really I, it, uh, I mean we're veggie anyway so we're not gonna eat steak but even but... if i wasn't veggie i would never have a steak for breakfast like is this just us being weird or like yeah let us know if you agree because yeah we're a bit like 
freaked out. Um, but yeah, I think we've established that um, we're definitely gonna do uh, Cinderella's Royal Table for dinner one night and we're gonna do Be Our Guest breakfast. Yeah, we are. Look how cute my mum and pops are. These are adorable. They're so sweet. They're like big allies, they're really cute. We're currently watching the cricket. Hello. Hello. Nick is uh, watching the ladies cricket with me. I'm learning more. You are learning more, aren't you? Yeah. You're doing great. I'm also posting on the ground, so I'm really paying attention. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm more of the cricket person. I mean, I've even got my jumper on today, just because it's the comfiest jumper in the world, and cricket. I try to be a supportive cricket wife, and, and I do try, but equally, I, I typically don't enjoy sports. I don't mind cricket, however. You have converted me to cricket. It's actually something Because cricket's good. Yeah, I can actually watch cricket because there's not so much like stupid like competitiveness and like people making dramas out of nothing. I don't like that. People diving for the ball when they don't need to and things like that. Yeah, I don't... Basically, it's not football. <laughs> Well, women's cricket's the way forward. Woo! This is our little friend Digger. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. We call him Digger because he digs up the garden, but he's adorable. And this is like our communal garden in our flat. So we're ground floor, so we get to see him. But there's like a little family. Um, Digger's the big one. And then there's like, I think there's two or three little ones. But look, have you seen anything cuter? He's adorable. Um, yeah, so we, we kind of like give them some food and stuff. We we do encourage wildlife. We we love our Oh, there's another one. There's another one. I think that's a young one. Does anybody else just like love wildlife in the garden? Even if they're foxes, and I know foxes, you know, a lot of people don't like foxes, but we do because they're great. We're in the car again. <laughs> I'm driving again. <laughs> that doesn't always drive. But you do also always drive. <laughs> I no, to be fair, I I like driving, so I tend to be like, I'll drive because I just enjoy driving. <laughs> That's fair enough. And I'm a terrible, terrible passenger. Oh. So like You get quite travel sick, can't you? Oh my goodness, all the time. So, and apparently my driving's terrific, so No, I've never no, I've never said that. Nick says that just because <laughs> I feel sick. But I feel sick in everyone's car, especially if I'm in the back seat. So I just tend to be the driver. Yeah. It's Disclaimer. You're the driver. Oh, sorry, bumps. You're the driver, I'm the DJ. <laughs> it's like, oh, I, I don't want to film on the main roads. It's like, okay, well, let's film on the bumpy roads. <laughs> sorry, guys. Oh Hope you're not motion sickness. <laughs> We've just left Steph's dad's house, um, and now we're on the way to get some fuel uh, and then go to my dad's house. Um, so it's all the, all the dads today, which is be nice. And yeah. I've seen your stuff done on Wednesday. Yeah, all the dads, four dads between us, which is great. We love. Yeah. <laughs> We're back in Southampton, which we always seem to be in. I think every vlog so far is us in the car driving to Southampton. Yeah. Um, but that's fine. It's pretty much our life. That is our life. <laughs> We're yeah. actually like basically in the edge of the new forest now, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be back actually. Yeah. So no, it's been a really nice day so far um, yeah. to catch up with your dad. It's the first time we've actually been inside your dad's house. Yeah. The first time I've hugged him in forever actually. I know. It's been so nice. <laughs> Yeah, oh it's God. really nice. It's quite emotional, to be honest. Does anybody else find that? Like, just hugging people, it's just... It's crazy. I know, I feel like everyone's kind of just giving each other a big bear hug and you don't yeah, want to let go. Yeah, proper big bear hugs. <laughs> yeah, it's nice though. Oh my goodness, this road is so bad. Um, yeah, apologies. <laughs> if it's just basically us on a bumpy road. <laughs> I think it's time to go now. <laughs> I can see the petrol station. Okay, woo! <laughs> So we just made it to my dad and stepmom's house. Um, I just really want to quickly show you um, their downstairs toilet, which might sound really bizarre, but their, um, their downstairs loo is amazing. Um, my dad has basically made it his room, which might sound really weird, but bear with me, okay? Looks like a normal toilet door, right? Hello, this is the Star Wars bathroom. My dad is a huge Star Wars fan. So he wanted a space to put a lot of his Star Wars stuff. So he's got some amazing merchandise. Uh, 
and thing that he's been collecting over the years. So he's, uh, hello, turn it all in here, which is so random. And from the hallway, you would not think that this <laughs> toilet downstairs loo is covered with Star Wars gear. He also, for the boxing of the toilet, boxed it in with Lego. And these are actually individual Lego pieces. Um, and you can actually open the door. And there's... <laughs> oh, we got another one here. Oh, oh. Who's in this one? This is a Lego. Oh, is that Django Fat? I think so. <laughs> so yeah, it's so cool. Oh, and this might look really weird, okay? But if you lift up the loo, These are so cool, these are all like genuine original figurines. I'm just obsessed, I love this toilet so much. And this sand in here is from when we went to Tunisia and we went to the like actual set of Tatooine and you can still visit and it's amazing. So uh, we took some Tatooine sand. So yeah, I just love this wallpaper, it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Oh, and just lastly, this is the, uh, the light cable the light cord pull thing <laughs> so cool we're home now it's been a really nice day we got home a lot earlier than expected actually it was nice to see our poppers um yeah it was a good day wasn't it it was lovely yes oh where are you there you are i'm on the floor it's <laughs> wherever them i'm uh sporting our magical day apparel i haven't worn it yet so it's cruise dangerous. jumper yeah, so it, um, I kind of bought it as a treat for us, <laughs> for the Magic at Sea cruise. We should have all of our clothes, so. You, like, this is this is the joy about being in a lesbian relationship, is we share our clothes all the time. So rather than buying two jumpers, we buy one, yeah. and we share it. Yes. That's, that's our life. And we pretty much are near enough the same size and everything, um, apart from shoes. <laughs> yeah. But you think because Nick's slightly smaller, she have the smaller feet. But I have the smaller feet because I have child's feet. And I've got clown feet. You don't have clown feet. <laughs> so Steph is playing hey. with the floof. Um, and I actually have received a very exciting parcel. So I, I actually won a giveaway recently, which is very exciting. It's from Glow New Forest. They're actually based in Blackfield, um, over like the Hyde Waterside area, um, which is sort of our neck of the woods. I did not expect to win, which is, a, it was a really nice surprise. Um, and they do uh, sort of candles, wax melts, like the main thing, and I think other little homey things, but they are all vegan and like soy. And that's like the kind of stuff that I've been looking for. I've been like on the hunt for a like local independent company that is vegan. So yeah, it was kind of like hit the jackpot when I won this giveaway. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be nice to try out the sort of stuff and then hopefully buy from them in the future. Um, so I'm going to open up the box now and show you what I got. It smells great in here. See, this is what it looks like. Ooh, some tea lights. Ooh, so many goodies. I think this is a fizzer. Oh no, yeah, the Purple Rain Bath Bomb. <gasps> I love bath bombs. This is amazing. Purple Rain. Yeah, so. Rain. You might not be able to see this because I don't think the phone focuses very well. Hey, look! Well, a wax burner, wax melt, no, it's an oil burner, which I'm sure you could probably use it for wax melts. We've got, what's this? A glittery wax melt, which is apparently Bakewell tart. Oh my God. Oh my God, you need to smell this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, that's so, look how sparkly it is. That smells so good. That actually smells like, it smells like a Bakewell tart and marzipan. That smells amazing. Oh my God. I love like really sweet smelling stuff. I'm a sucker for it. This looks like a chocolate bar, but it's not. It's blissfully unstoppable. Oh, that's not as nice as well. Look at that. It does look like chocolate. It does. And we've got, oh, a free sample. And we've got another free sample inspired by Belle. <gasps> Cute. It's like, Glittery, like gold glitter. That's so cute. And these little hearts. I don't know if you can see this very well. Is it like Beauty and Beast bag? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think this is the last thing. Inspired by ghosts. Oh, that's cool. Again, it looks really cool. 
Ooh, that's really like kind of like dark and musky. Yeah, so that smells amazing. Oh my god, like these two, like I think this bake hot art is definitely my favourite. That smells amazing. So I've got like loads of burny things. Lots of burny things to put in my burner. This isn't like an ad, ad or anything, but I just yeah, I'm all about independent local companies. So yeah, if you're local or you just are a fan of wax melts and candles, um, and like I said, it's all vegan, so definitely check them out if you want to, because yeah, it, it's really cool. So you can find them on Instagram, it's just Glow New Forest and Glow New Forest on Facebook. So yeah, thanks guys for this. So happy. It smells like it smells like the perfume ghost. Like I've I used to wear Ghost all the time. So like the brand Ghost. Yes. Yes. That's what, yeah, it literally smells like. Not ghosts, but no, ghosts. Not like, mm, but as in like. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, it smells like my old perfume. It smells like the old me. Mal, we're going to stink out the flat. How do you feel about that? Mal, do you like it? Oh, it's kind of mean. How about the Bakewell? I bet he'll like this one more because it's really yeah, sweet. Yeah, he might do. He might do. I, mean, I want to smell it too. It smells amazing. Oh, How no. good is that? <laughs> no! <laughs> it's got... It's like, hell no. Oh, you, it's okay. It's nothing to be scared of. It smells good. Look. Mm, see? It's like no human. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Take it! Oh no, he's scared. He's scared, Paul. Let's not force him. No, I just thought he'd like to smell it. <laughs> and Steph is playing with Maui. He's very happy. <laughs> also, can we talk about how cute that shirt is on you? Oh, thanks. It's a vintage shirt. <laughs> I think it's from the nineties, which is cool because so much. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Hello, it's me. Um. Still sat on the floor, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we are about to um, make some dinner. We've got some very, very, very healthy pizzas in the oven. They're not healthy in the slightest, but they are good, good pizzas. One of them's pesto and mozzarella, and it's yum. Chef's kiss. We are gonna chill for this evening. It's eight o'clock. So yeah, we are gonna chill, eat our pizza. We're gonna continue watching a film that we started watching at my dad's. Um, but we couldn't finish the film because we had to then shoot off to see Nick's dad because, you know, Father's Day and all that, you got to see them all. So we started watching it and we really enjoyed it. And it was it called was Blended. That's what we're going to continue watching. But it's Adam, Adam Sandler and we really like him, don't we? What I love about, it's Happy Madison, isn't it? Yeah. Those productions, like, they're always like similar cast and they're just, they're very our kind of thing. We really enjoy the sense of humour because it's kind of silly. But um, yeah, so we're going to continue watching that. And then maybe we can watch more of that atypical. <gasps> yes! We've both been really enjoying that. If you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend. That's on Netflix as well. It's a series, isn't it? It is a series. And I think it's it's very educational. So it's mm. it's all about autism, basically. Um, and this kid called Sam who's got autism. And it's basically just about his his life and, and the struggles he faces. And very, very good. Um, yeah. It's also quite funny in t at times because Sam is great and i would highly recommend um and like i said it is it is very educational mm. i think it really shows a lot about autism that people don't really understand and obviously the spectrum of it and i've got family members who are autistic and it was just really nice to actually watch something that represented that quite well also who's watching loki because we are loving loki at the moment i mean who doesn't love loki because I know with WandaVision and even Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it was quite slow. But this, like, Loki first episode, we were hooked. Like, yeah, we were. But then it's also Loki, and Loki's yeah. just fascinating anyway. And so Owen Wilson, like, Tom oh. Hiddleston and Owen Wilson together. I know, right? It's like genius casting. Wow. Now, I'm worried that the pizza's burning, so... Do you know what else is burning? I'm gonna go. My new wax melt. And oh, it smells delicious. Darling. <laughs> it's actually melting. It works. No. And it's all glittery. You should come see it, it's all sparkly. It's like proper shimmering and moving. I kind of really want to touch it. Don't touch it, don't touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. That's cool. I know, and it smells so good. Like, I'm really quite impressed, actually. Yeah, it smells amazing. This is, this is our first ever wax melt. We are wax melt people now. And it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> the fox is back. It's so cute, it just came right up to the window down here. It's like wildlife watching. Oh, even 
even Mally likes to get involved. <laughs> He's more interested in the uh, in the birds. We have like loads of pigeon nests in here. Oh my goodness, look at him. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> like my friends with the foxes. Look at you two cuties. <laughs> he kisses butt. We had a pizza. pizza. It was delicious. It was very good. I like pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza is my favourite. Pizza is your favourite. Yes. I could eat pizza every day. Oh, I'm actually um I'm going to Brighton this week coming. Yes going to Brighton on Thursday. I'm staying at my mum's on the Wednesday night. I'm leaving you for two nights. For like the first time. I mean, it's been, what, 18 months? The last time I didn't sleep next to you was our wedding night. <laughs> yeah, but we were in the same house. We were yeah, just exactly. in different rooms and different floors. Yeah, we don't tend to spend a lot of time away from each other. I've been to yeah. Scotland a couple of times with work. I put something out on Instagram and basically said like, I'm, yeah, I'm going away for the night with my mum, going to Brighton. Did I do more fancy like, watching it if i vlogged it if we went together we would have vlogged it but it was more the fact that i'm going on my own and we wouldn't be together like would people still be interested in it if it isn't us together because yeah. i kind of feel like we're a package deal <laughs> yeah, but yeah you're the better half so no you are the best half no yeah there was loads of people who said yeah like definitely do it which is really sweet actually um so yeah and i was like mom how do you feel about me vlogging she was like mm, that's fine and i was like do you want to be in the vlog she's like mm. Okay, that's also fine. We're gonna meet next mum, guys. My crazy mother. What am I gonna do for two nights, guys? I might vlog just so that I can talk to you. <laughs> Maui doesn't talk to me, so. But I'll be back Friday. So you'll be okay. I'll be all right. I've got Maui. I've got Netflix. Yeah. I'll be fine. So we will see you next week, and hopefully you will like next week's vlog. Um, but thank you for watching as always. Like the video if you actually liked it. And obviously subscribe if you want to continue watching. Um, what are you doing? Are you just like, like, subscribe? Oh. It's not a tick, but you know, all like, oh. subscribe. And the bell? There's a bell. There you go. <laughs> Stay wonderful, and we will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.